have I calculated the hypotenuse correctly? <laughs> and then you get uh, then you get down to uh, forward head. And yeah. So you know, there's, there's something to be said for for you know great setups and being able to cover anything, but also that there's. Uh, maybe a practicality issue there. Yeah, you do have to actually like physically set them up in the heat of the moment, and that can be quite difficult. Now, we are going to PS2. A lot of Greninches tell me that they don't like this stage because the up smash doesn't yes. work consistently on it. But, I mean, from what I've watch, watched of Tarek and Prince Club, it seems to work consistently enough. Already getting a nair, uh, landing nair from uh, Wii Fit Trainer. That's quite unexpected, given what we've just been talking about. Yeah. It's all going to be about how AT Trainer positions themselves, how they're able to pull out and looks movement, but we just have to see. As, ooh, wow, straight away that landing there in the corner leads to some dangerous things. Send up the water shuriken, and that is going to return that header football. Yeah, and really much. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've already seen that. That can uh, demonstrate some quite unique interactions. If Piplup is able, or Prinflop rather, is able to throw out the shuriken at correct timing, he can stop the, uh, the header ball and knock it back and start his own combo off it. Approaching, trying to get HG Trainer to pop out of the shield, but ends up crossing up with a dash attack. Lovely Nair and Pum into that forward air. Ooh, the water shuriken out in the depths. And again, trying to set up the hydro pump, but not quite at the ideal angle. So HG Trainer is going to get back without too much fuss. Yeah, that uh, rising bear out of shield, very, very powerful kill off from Wii Fit Trainer. But unless you're reading a jump from uh, Greninja, it's going to be very difficult to hit. Tries to find the downturn forward air confirmed, but just a little bit too far away to find the hit they were looking for now. Keep breathing. Not wearing out the ledge. Ooh, funny trade. Both get hit by the soccer ball. Yeah, we've seen already that uh, HD Train has shown some willingness, proof full fair there, uh, to go low on his recoveries. And I do wonder if Prince Club is going to start punishing that with uh, Greninja's there. Very, very powerful edge guarding tool, but he can go so low with it and it lasts for so long. Ooh, the header out into the depth. There we go, first snipe of the set. Beautifully done from HD Trainer. Has that deep breathing online, and so it's just going to take their time with it. And I actually kind of like that. Just not pausing the issue, but then able to find that opening as soon as Primler lands on the platform, finds the double net into the forward air, and almost gets the down air for the kill as well. Not forcing the issue as soon as they've got deep breathing, instead waiting for a mistake and capitalizing. That is a very crucial uh, bit of awareness to have, but Primpum striking back with a big forward smash. Down tilt at ledge into another one, trying to find the deep water shuriken. Maybe in the hydro pump edge guard, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, lovely stall uh, from HD Trainer there, using the header to go above the high, uh, shuriken so that they didn't get caught out by the charge pit. Uh, looks like uh, got a slight lead for HG Trainer here. Not going to take the stock yet, but almost got another snipe. Yeah, I love the header bouncing off a of problem down low, and then the forward tilt to send it high. That would have been marvelous. Okay. No, it just commits a little bit too early. Problem had the hydro pump to force HD Trainer to land. The problem went for the up smash, missed it ever so slightly, and that meant that HD Trainer could fire back with a forward smash of their own. Up two stocks to one here, Lito. Yeah, perhaps a little bit of unfamiliarity with the matchup on Prince Club side there. Ooh, a lovely double nair into forward air confirmed. Not one you see very often. And honestly, we're at a dead even set. If Piplup's able to get a combo here, then we could see it being in a saver. Well, I'm going to see an edge guard. We're going for the high read there with the double jump, but Weefit does have quite a high double jump, so we're able to get over it. What a shuriken trading with header. Deep breathing is online. The ball confirms into an air. That's a huge chunk of damage. That was like 35 off of just those two hits. Yeah, exactly. And we've thrown out a lot of these small suns. Oh, using the wind box of the sun there to prevent the approach should uh, Prince have gone for it. And, oh, we're going to see an F tilt. Not quite. Sending out the sun to buy some space in order to recover off the ledge. Primplup has sent a stage, but uh, at the moment, HD Trainer has the lead. At the moment, just, ooh, catching the jump out of the shield is not going to do it. That wasn't fully charged. Ooh, I love the low angle of the ball there. Not quite able to find it. The Nair just barely off. No, no! The backwards hitbox of the uh, F tilt sending Primplup straight up. Really difficult to, uh, to expect, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've no idea how you're supposed to, how, how you're supposed to react in DI to that. But I mean, lovely, I again, it was, that that's twice in a row actually the Primplup died off of their own advantageous situation. Yeah, yeah. Once forcing HD Trina high, missing the up smash, then parrying the dash attack, but missing the Nair. I mean, we talked about 
you know, maybe it's going to be half HD training to hit Primlord because, you know, her block shifting and smallness. Yeah. Maybe it's looking like it, that That might be a two-way street. Yeah, honestly. I mean, I've, I've played against Wii Fit a little bit myself, and, and she, well, they can, they can have some really weird hurtbox shifts in the air, especially uh, if you've ever watched Manny, he will always use like up air in disadvantage because it does a really weird like horizontal shift. And I could see s some of those moves being quite tricky to punish. I think if uh, Primplup shows a little bit more patience maybe in advantage, then maybe you'll get the punish that he's looking for. Certainly a potential. Here we go then, second game, HD Trainer with the advantage. Up one to nothing right now. He's ready to move on. Z can into this second. Hollow Bastion, oh wow, and straight away getting that down throw. Not typical that you see of Wii Fit that early on, but gets the down throw, forces the tech situation on that platform immediately, and gets a follow up. Right now, HD Trainer on full control. Yeah, HC Trainer's shown brilliant, brilliant advantage here. Punishing pretty much every one of Print Club's uh, disadvantage options. And use, utilizing that really large uh, ledge roll to get past the ledge trap. Wow, the, the, the jab on shield from HC Trainer actually got to the other side of the shield, causing a very awkward cross up indeed. Rounded cross ups. That's a, that's a fun one. Yeah, it's not one you see too often here. And honestly, that bear out of shield, I wouldn't have thought would hit for an injury, but it's really paying off for HD Trainer so far. Yeah, down there below the ledge, catching the recovery of, of Primlov. And we've got deep breathing set up once again. I mean, you've got to be worried as the jab confirms. Oh my goodness, that, that, that up tilt catching uh, landing out of the air could be a start of huge damage depending on how low that up tilt connects. Yeah, and we're in yet another edge guard situation for HD Trainer using the Uppy. It does actually have a hitbox, although it's a bit of a weirdly sized one. So you can catch uh, Greninja's hitless, hitboxless Uppy with your own. Being set up off stage. People have just taking their time trying to edge guard, but lovely down to confirm to the up smash. It's not quite going to find the kill, but still, it's a, a big chunk of damage. Purple has the edge guard potential here. Yeah, a Greninja, unfortunately uh, for Piplup, doesn't actually move that fast horizontally in the air, so he's finding it quite difficult to get the punishers when HD Trainer goes really far out. Getting another Nair into fair confirm, that seems to be the, the key one this set, gotten multiple of those so far. Yeah, beautifully timed and placed. Lovely dash tag into the, the late hit, the, the up smash. Nice little one, two. And again, just keeping HD Trainer stuck at the ledge. That has been a, the, a bit of a moneymaker for Privilep so far in the second game. The up tilt anti is so powerful. The late hit of back air as well, finding its marker. Yeah, really nice use of the header there to bounce the ball off the platform as well. It just shut out aerial approaches almost entirely. Really good recognition from HD Trainer. Piplup's finding it really, really difficult to get in. Will he get dead? Oh, he's going to get forward head instead. Deep breathing, call is something untackable. Wow, that is an insane amount of knockback. I don't think Primal was at that high a percent, but to get an untackable hit that early, I mean, goodness gracious me. Harry on the downer as well was looking for a punish, but they're one of the hardest moves in, that, in the game to punish on shield. Yeah, very, very safe move there. And it's looking like Piplup's trying to slow it down just a little bit, not trying to push the uh, stake too much. But again, the wind box on the header has a really unique interaction where it sort of hovers the ball in front of you for a little bit, and Piplup's finding it really hard to get past that. Lovely combo there. Yeah, quick 79 is out onto Piplup, almost finding the Nair to confirm into... Oh, what? What? No way! What on earth are you playing at? Forward smash! Calling out the approach from Ripple's 2 only for HD Trainer. I mean, that that is just confidence on a platter right there. Absolutely. That was an absolutely outstanding read. Uh, full confidence and got the read first time. I do wonder how much of an effect that will have on Print Club's mentality right now. Because when, whenever you get red like that, it really sits in your mind for a while. Because you start thinking, why did I get hit by that? You've got to just acknowledge it, move on, not make the same mistake again, and go with the flow. Yeah. Got plenty to worry about right now for Print Club. They are down 2-0 at tournament point for them right now. They have got to make something happen against HD Trainer, but... G Train is kind of on a roll at the moment. Lovely whiff punish down there. Finding the late berry as well. Not going to do too much at this percent, but goodness gracious, it, it's just, it, it just keeps coming. 
Yep, yeah, HE Trainer's advantage state has been absolutely beautiful, really using moves in creative ways that I haven't seen before, such as the jab on a tech chase to extend it. Crit Pup starting to build up damage a little bit, of course, but getting caught out by the header again, which did stuff out the aerial approach. Yeah, went for the read on the platform. Am I going to find it instead? HC Trainer set up in the corner with a little bit of juice in the sun and has that deep breathing, but lovely whiff punish after that whiff grab. Forward air comes through to buy HD Trainers some space back onto the stage here. Yeah, I do think uh, it's the correct of uh, Print Pup to go slightly aggressive occasionally uh, when Weep It Trainer is indeed briefing, of course. Because a lot of players in that position. Ooh, really aggressive there. A lot of players, when they get the deep breathing, will start being really aggressive because they want to get their combo. You can shut that down with your own moves. Yes, yes. Catching over aggression, but Print Pup caught drifting into HD Trainer. As the and ends up dying against that heavy uh, deep breathing forward air. Going to bring things to two stocks apiece, but lovely combo onto the platform there and forced to take back onto the platform. Very nice, the water shuriken stuffing out the soccer. We've got Primlob starting to build up some momentum here, Lito. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely use of the water shuriken there. Of course, having a perfectly horizontal uh, angle makes it very good at shutting down those offstage headers. And again, we're going to see a very strong combo going for the read again. Oh, trying to find that down air through the platform, but Primwood didn't come back up high enough for an up smash. Instead, Primwood's going to find their own combo answering back, and now with HD Trainer at 105, there is kill confirm potential here. Maybe a down tilt. May uh, maybe, uh, maybe a landing there. There's plenty to do. Maybe just a roll forward air to set up the edge guard. Plenty of potential here for Primwood to poke their nose out into the lead. Yeah, some very, very good patience from Pimp Prim up here. Unfortunately, getting caught by the running of f oh! No way, the backward spike? The ledge trump into the back hit of the head, header spike. We're going to find a down tilt forward air confirm in response for Prim Club, but good googly moogly, that was a gorgeous little spike there. HD Trainer getting themselves right back in it, and now the deep breathing, trying to find a confirm on the forward throw. Prim Club. Just, oh, both these two are just going hell for leather at the moment. Yeah, very, very scary position for Prince of Harvard. Has a lot more to lose here. Perhaps a few nerves uh, on both sides there. Got the accidental rapid jab and then the miss input on the punish. But the uh, Nair that time did come out before the header spike, which meant that it broke through and uh, dealt some damage to Wee Fit Trainer. Again, that shuriken, perfect horizontal lock, pushes back the uh, Wee Fit Trainer. Oh, this time HD Trainer taking advantage of the ledge. We think can be very strong in that position, just depends on resources, but ooh, just thrown out, trying to get a confirm off of maybe the spike hit of that forward I know that can confirm into an up smash or a back air. But yeah. out of deep breathing and now out of stage, Primplup in control. Lovely still with the header once again. Yeah, one hit, a uh, couple of hits here from HD Trainer, however, will take the tournament stock. It's becoming more and more precarious for Primplup. Oh, is that it? Beautiful confirmed down tilt into the forward air. One opening is all it takes, and Primplum is on the board here, Light though. Yeah, uh, Primplum will certainly be breathing a sigh of relief after that. Very, very close game, but starting to show a little bit more adaptation uh, on his side. And honestly, I believe if he keeps that up, because I think what was really good that game was how he wasn't falling prey to We Fit Trainers uh, ledge camping, which is often are really tricky to deal with because you, you you really rush to punish it and you get caught out by the headers and the sun salutations and so on and you end up taking more and more damage and, or even sent off stage. Primpup was in control the whole time, just let HD Trainer do the thing and then progress once we were back on stage. Certainly did. All right, HD Trainer and Primpup, they are locking in right now. Game four. This is where you make your money right here, just. Primplup. Uh, oh, sorry. We are back on uh, Hollow Bastion. Notably, uh, HD Trainer got a very solid win here on the first game. So I don't think the stage that made that much difference, but it will certainly make a difference for your mentality if you're going somewhere familiar. So, definitely potential for HD Trainer to take advantage of the stage. We saw some, you know, like low percent throw confirms into the tech chase situations on that central platform. Plenty of potential for kill confirms off that as well. But Rempel up right now with a double nair into that up air, just making it happen piece by piece. But that dash deck sets up a great edge guard. 
maybe. Oh my god, again! again. Finds the header hanging up about at the ledge and is able to find the spike perfectly timed as Crimpwick recovers. Five jabs in celebration and the deep breathing could put HD Trainer back to the lead here. Mine yeah, runs out. Definitely. I think that the linear angles of Greninja's of B are making it really easy for HD Trainer to go for spikes. We've seen the, the header spike, but of course can go for the dare as well. So there's multiple options available depending on the angle that Crimpwick wants to go at. We are slowly closing up a bit more percent towards kill. Are we going to get an, an edge guard perhaps? No, we're not. Great patience there from HD Trainer, not committing to the up the unnecessarily early. Damage is building up right now. Primbrook has to find this kill sooner rather than later. HD Trainer again going for the down air. Not quite able to find the spike, but is just with every attempt. It's putting Primbrook under more and more pressure. Yeah, it's become very, very scary. And I do fear that uh, Primbrook might be becoming a little bit impatient. That, those ledge rolls are really coming out in force, and Primbrook just hasn't adjusted his spacing enough to uh, uh, court, uh, come for it. Yeah, trying to hop back and get a, a, a back hit of forward head. Going in with a down smash, trying to catch a jump out of shield. But the header almost finds its second hit after finding one. Trying to get the reversal ledge trump into the, the spike hit of the forward air. But instead, Primbrook swings big with that forward smash. Swings for the fences, but HG Trainers swing in straight back. Back hit of the forward tilt puts them up two stocks to one here, Lito. Yeah, very, very good position for HG Trainer here. Can afford to go for the risky combos if he wants to. And Printpop really needs to make something happen. Will he? No, again, going over the extra back air because of the rising hit of the side ahead of there. Boy, no look. It's grabbed out of the air with that down throw. Yeah, the trader really wants to end this soon. Yeah, absolutely going uh, oh. for the early kills here. Oh. Going for multiple dares off stage oh and not really taking much damage uh, uh, in punishment for it. Yeah, I mean, that's just the confidence right now. It's come flowing for HD Trainer. Looking for that spike there, looking for the clip. But Primpler is still in this and still fighting. Right now, just taking their time, using the jump to fake out the approach. That forward air, a little bit of uh, ambiguous on shield. and. It's going to allow Primp to maybe find an opening. Dash attack doesn't quite confirm into the forward air. And now that sun salutation at the ledge. Just these stray hits. Whittling Primp left down. It can't be long until you're at kill potential. I think you're in kill range. Honestly, it will. If uh, HD Train is able to get the deep breathing here and then maybe go for another f tilt or back air, it will absolutely steal the tournament. However, even at the ledge, an f tilt will kill without deep breathing. So Primp up has to be very wary. Can't go in too over aggressive. Trainer makes it back. Lovely low forward air at the ledge, stuffing out the header attempt. Deep breathing is locked back on, but... Oh, and the forward air there comes it is. through, and that is going to secure it. HD Trainer taking it 3-1 over Primplup. And it was just that mid-game, that mid-game of this fourth game, just able to charge on ahead, finding these spikes, finding the confidence and making the most out of every situation. Yeah, absolutely. I think edge guards were really, really key in that set. Uh, HD Trainer got a really, really good read on where Printplot wanted to recover. Of course, the angles uh, you can go in when you're going low are quite limited. So HD Trainer positioned himself perfectly, went for those uh, headers and occasionally a few down airs and got really, really early socks. So that was a brilliant play from him. All right then, well, as top 16 continues, I can confirm that the winner's side of top eight are all locked in. Mutase is in over Schmixape. Bloom is in over Siren. We've got Siski in over Kendrick Olimar. Yep. And Big Boss takes 3-2 over Andres FN. That is your Ooh, winner's three, side. 3-2? Yeah. Wow. That, that is your winner's side top eight confirmed. And now we're just cleaning up losers. We're going to find who's going to be able to sneak in. And, oh, oh, we don't get to see Maze Beans. Maze Beans be giggles. <laughs> Damn uh, it, no. Ah, uh, well. Well, we've still got some wonderful sets to come. Uh, I'm actually quite interested to see how uh, Maze Beans does against Kendrick Olimar. Because uh, Kendrick's uh, often cited that he 